city wasn't good for us. We have been dreaming about a place like this for a while now. This would be the baby's room. The house, it's been listed for a while. Why hasn't anyone bought it? There was an incident. We, uh, we don't want to know. We do. There was a suicide, double homicide. I suppose you're out. <laughs> kind of perfect, right? This door won't open. Yeah? I thought they just had a daughter. There were two. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm Sari Cohen. Joining me right now are Emma Roberts and John Gallagher Jr. And we're getting a first look at their new movie, Abandoned. You don't mind a little haunting. You know I don't mind a little haunting. We'll take it. So where do you draw the line at a little haunting? Like, when do things start to get spooky for the two of you? Oh, I, I was like, in real life or in the movie? Um, <laughs> um, you know, it's, I mean, in the movie, I, I guess, you know, she doesn't mind a little haunting, but things take just... Things take a huge turn, but also we don't know. Is it a haunting? Like what I love about this movie is it really kind of like messes with your head. You know, not only does it mess with the character's head, but like the audience member where you're, you're like, who do I trust? Who do I believe? Like what is actually going on here? Is this made up? Is there an element that's true? And so I think that's what makes it such a like fun, you know, edge of your seat watch is you're kind of going back and forth of like who you believe and who, you know, you're going to go on the ride with. Walk me through what these characters are up against as a couple and then kind of what they're experiencing, I guess, supernaturally. Well, I think they've been having a, a, a tricky time as new parents uh, uh, struggling to feel like they're doing the right thing and to connect with each other and to connect with their son. And so I think, you know, my, my character is, is like kind of a little like slight, slightly a control freak. And so he masterminds this plan of like, well, we're going to get out of the city. We're going to get out to the countryside. We're going to move into this old house and we're going to have this like perfect life. Um, you know, but uh, he learns the hard way that, you know, you can try to control things as much as possible, but there's always going to be variables and things are going to happen. And, and, um, and, and they certainly do once they go to this, this new place, they inevitably have to kind of go through this, this crisis that starts as a personal one and veers into the supernatural. But as we said before, it's kind of nebulous and gray. And so you're never really knowing exactly how much is the personal crisis and how much is this supernatural crisis? Does the supernatural element actually even exist? Because to me, that's, that's terrifying and that's real is that we all struggle with, you know, reality versus imagination day to day. And when you're in some kind of mental health issue or depression, uh, it, it, there's almost you know, the, the line is very thin between uh, imagination and reality. And I think well, the scariest thing is metaphorically and literally when the call is coming from inside the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why like haunted house stuff is so scary because it's like the, like the place you're supposed to be safest is like in your own home. And when you don't like feel that, that's always scary. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, that's like always kind of the, um, the theme that I that I like to watch um like I love like what lies beneath and like all those kinds of like thrillers where it's not even so much like you know bloody gory scary like that kind of stuff but more like like oh my god what's gonna happen yeah that's exactly how I felt like I was on the edge of my seat and it it felt like a ride so that's what I want to ask you Emma how would you describe the ride that audiences are going to go on when they see this what I will say, I mean, I think, like I said, everyone's going to take away, I think, something different. But what I will say is that, like, where we start and where we end up, like, like you can watch the trailer and think you know, but you don't. Like, you, like you, you just, you don't know. <laughs> um, so I think that's, that's what I'm most excited for people to see it, is that it really... It's like, it's very, um, it's just very not what you expect. It's also very nuanced. Like I, I think it's a movie you can watch more than once because you'll definitely like go back and see things that you didn't see before. Um, the director, Spencer Squire, who's absolutely amazing. Um, and I just fell so in love with him working on this because like everything down to like the kind of ribbon that was put in my hair was like just decided so particularly by him. And so everything, everything, everything there is supposed to be there. And it's just really, it's, it's really makes an interesting watch when, when the details are that ironed out. Abandoned is in theaters and on demand June 17th. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. It's this house. I don't feel like I'm alone.
There's a reason it is where it is. What are you doing?